I'm David from Levika Photography and today I wanted to show you a few bug fixes on the Fuji XE3. Now it's two days after Christmas 2017 and uh, I'm sure a lot of you just got this camera and you're wondering like how to fix a few minor issues with it. And this also includes some issues I found in my initial review. But the first thing was the sticky screen and you notice how when I move it right to left it looks sticky but left to right it looks smooth I don't know why it does that but anyway how to fix it is you go into menu and then you go over to the settings and then go to power management and from here change that to high performance and then from there you can get out of the menu and now you'll notice it's smooth in both directions so that's the sticky screen fix. All right, so this is the fix for the flickering screen issue. And you can see it's flickering right now like a candle. And it's driving me crazy. So there's two things that you need to do to get this to work right. You go into uh, face detection, and you can turn it off. And once you turn it off, you can see that calms it down quite a bit. Now, there will be a certain situation where it still does it, so if it's still bothering you, then go into the menu, go over to settings, down here, and to your wrench, and then go to the screen setup, and then go to preview picked effect, and turn that on. And when you turn that on, that should calm it down completely. And that may even work with the face recognition still on. Yeah. So those are the two ways to take care of that. The other issue I was having with this was my exposure compensation dial up here wasn't working correctly. And you can see now it is. And my problem was, you can see I have a Rokinon lens on here, is that when I was switching between lenses in my initial review, I was doing it with the camera on, like I always do with every camera, and popping a lens off and shoving a new one on there, and it should read it right away. Well, with this, uh, sometimes when you pull off the lens, it'll freeze whatever setting you're in and you can't adjust anything. So the way to overcome this is simply, after you change a lens to a manual focus lens, turn the camera off for two seconds, turn it back on, and then everything will start working the way that it's supposed to. The last issue I have with this camera is uh, Fuji does not like synthetic lighting, which is what I have in here. I have CFLs on this side and LEDs on this side. And this is the only camera I've seen where they, it just doesn't like it. And apparently, when I was looking up the issues with banding and video for Fuji, it turns out that I guess this is kind of a common problem across all their cameras. So maybe they're lacking an algorithm that cancels out the frequency of the LED lighting or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm sure someday they will come out with a bug fix for it. But until then, the thing that was annoying me in the initial review is just in photography we were getting banding. So how do you get around that? Well, there's two ways. Uh, you go into the menu, and then again you go to the uh, settings, and then go to screen setup and turn preview picked effect on. That helps quite a bit. That calms it down but doesn't get rid of it completely. Now in order to get rid of it completely uh, go back into the menu and then go down to the shutter type and then right now we're on electronic shutter. Now mechanical shutter is very clunky and uh, it's fully mechanical and only gives you four thousandth of a second. Electronic shutter gives you thirty-two thousandth of a second and fifteen minutes long. But mechanical plus electronic gives you the best of both worlds. And this is really the setting that you need to have this on. So if you go ahead and hit that, then now I can take the same exact photo that I did before at the same exact settings and notice zero banding. And so that at least gets it out of the photography side. So hopefully someday they'll apply a bug fix for that, but that is one of the things that does drive me crazy. 
Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel for more information like this, and otherwise we will talk to you guys later. See ya.